The Best RSI and CCI Combination Trading Strategy for Optimum Returns By the time you finish this video, you'll know exactly when to enter high probability trade using the RSI and CCI analysis. As usual, we'll have plenty of practical examples. The idea is to fully understand this wonderful trading strategy and to make the most out of it. If you want more videos more often please smash the like button, subscribe, and turn on the notifications bell so that you know exactly when new content is released. A very important point before we start. Everything we discuss in this video can be used for currency trading, stock trading, and crypto, because price action stays relatively consistent across different assets, so we're going to go very in-depth in this video. Understanding RSI Indicator What is the Relative Strength Index? The RSI indicator is simply an oscillator that oscillates between two extremes of 0 and 100. The indicator stands out as one of the best trading instruments on the fact that it provides information on overbought and oversold market conditions. Conversely, whenever the RSI reading is above 70, the same is interpreted as overbought market condition. In this case, traders refrain from taking long positions as the likelihood of price reversal is usually high. Similarly, whenever the RSI reading is below 30, the same is interpreted as an oversold market condition. In this case, the likelihood of price reversing and starting to move higher is usually high as the underlying asset is usually considered cheap. Overbought and Oversold Levels Before we dive into using the index, let's take a look at what it means to be overbought and oversold. The term overbought refers to an instance when an asset's trading value is above its fair or intrinsic value. An asset that is overbought tends to be indicative of recent or short-term price movements. As such, there's an expectation that the market will see a correction in the price in the near term. Assets that are overbought are generally considered suitable for sale. The definition of oversold depends, though, on who you ask. Fundamental traders believe that an asset is oversold when its price is lower than its fair or intrinsic value. Therefore, they trade lower than their perceived worth. Technical analysts believe oversold assets are those that reach a certain level on a technical indicator, focusing on price and historical data, rather than the asset's value. When it comes to market analysis and trading signals, the RSI is viewed as a bullish indicator when it moves above the horizontal 30 reference level. Conversely, an RSI that dips below the horizontal 70 reference level is viewed as a bearish indicator. Since some assets are more volatile and move quicker than others, the values of 80 and 20 are also frequently used levels for overbought and oversold assets. Understanding CCI Indicator The Commodity Channel Index is an important charting tool that measures the current price of a security, understudy, relative to its average price level over a given period. The indicator's reading tends to be relatively high whenever the prevailing price of a security is far above the average. Similarly, the reading tends to be low whenever the price is far below the average. Just like the RSI indicator, the CCI indicator can be used to ascertain overbought and oversold market conditions on given security under study. Whenever the CCI indicator reading is above plus 100, the same implies a strong uptrend is beginning, signaling overbought conditions. In this case, traders should be wary of entering a long position as price tends to have a tendency of reversing. Similarly, whenever the CCI reading is below minus 100, the same implies a strong downtrend. In this case, Forex expert advisors and manual traders enter long positions to take advantage of potential price reversal as a security is considered to be oversold. How to use the CCI indicator when trading? Since you now know the basics of the Commodity Channel Index Indicator, I want to explore how to use this powerful indicator when day trading. First of all, you should remember that the CCI indicator is not a good standalone tool. Like any other oscillator, the CCI needs to be combined with an additional trading tool. In this video, we will combine the CCI indicator with the RSI. RSI and CCI Combination Trading Strategy RSI and CCI indicators are commonly used in scalping as well as trend trading and news trading, given their ability to identify oversold and overbought market conditions. Similarly, when used together, be it in automated trading, algorithmic trading or manual trading, the indicators help shed more light on ideal price targets for opening and closing trades. 
To use the two indicators, firstly, tweak the RSI parameters to a 30 period RSI in place of the default 14 periods. The change in settings helps insulate against short term price fluctuations that can be misleading. Similarly, add a 50 line on the RSI indicator in addition to the default 70 and 30 trend lines that indicate overbought and oversold conditions. When it comes to the CCI indicator, it would be wise to stick to the 20 period CCI as it tends to be more immune to short term price changes that can be misleading. The overbought and oversold limits at plus 100 and minus 100 should remain the same. Buy setup while using RSI and CCI indicators. First, a trader should only consider entering a long position or buy when the RSI reading is above 50. Such a reading indicates an underlying upward momentum in the price of the underlying security. In this case, traders should only consider long positions. Second, the CCI indicator will, in this case, help in generating signals for opening long positions. For a buy, a signal to enter long positions will happen when the 20 period CCI indicator crosses the minus 100 from below. Whenever this happens, then it would be wise to enter long positions. Third, a stop loss can be placed a few pips below the entry point. An appropriate risk reward ratio tends to be anything greater than 1 3. Sell setup using RSI and CCI indicator. First, the RSI strategy can also be used to open short positions while relying on the CCI indicator for a signal. Conversely, whenever the RSI indicator is below the 50 line the same indicates the underlying price has turned bearish and that price is likely to continue edging lower. In this case, traders should only consider short positions. Second, a signal to enter short positions will happen when the 20 period CCI indicator crosses the plus 100 from above. Third, a stop loss can be placed a few pips above the entry point. This should be simple enough. Or, in this video, I've included a template with the system that you can simply upload to your chart and it will automatically plot all these indicators perfectly on your charts, so there's nothing for you to worry about. Get the download link on the description. Here are other examples of how to trade the market using the combination of RSI and CCI indicators to fully understand this wonderful strategy and to make the most out of it.
RSI and CCI are some of the best trading instruments, given their ability to shed light on overbought and oversold conditions. When used together, the indicators can aid in ascertaining ideal entry and exit points perfect for mitigating losses and optimizing profits. As always, if you learned something new, or if you want more videos more often, make sure you subscribe, click the notification bell, and leave us a like to show your support. See you next time. Thank you.